Hey guys, Dr. Kahu here and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a new what if and that is what if Naruto had a super copy Genkei Genkai part 1. Now as usual guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you guys want me to continue Naruto what if 500 likes guys 500 likes on this part and I'll continue on with this Naruto what if. Not only that guys uh, when it comes to Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, My Hero Academia and upcoming what ifs like One Piece and Black Clover um, all the like goals that I put on part um, movies or or one or part one or movies all those like goals I put on there they all attribute to what what if I'm going to do on the day so I hope you guys all understand that and not only that guys I hope you guys like this what if that I'm doing right now it sets up a big big storyline for me so I hope you guys all enjoy and yeah I jibber jabber long enough guys let's get into this new what if and that is what if Naruto had a super copy Genkei Genkai part one so of course guys let our story hurry up and commence Our story takes place in practically in the middle of a war zone. Konoha has just been attacked by the Nine Tails, and the Fourth Hokage worked swiftly to um, also subdue the Nine Tails using a summoning jutsu known as Gamabunta, and he was able to teleport him and Kushina and the Nine Tails to a special area. Now, as we know in canon, Minato, what he does is, with the help of Kushina, drags half the Nine Tails with him to his death and puts the other one and other half in Naruto. But what if they change? What if something in Naruto changed the whole entire story? So, how, how is the story going to begin? Let's get started. So, Naruto, of course, when he is born, he is born like any other child, okay? Just like any other child in normal senses, okay? And what goes down is something's different about Naruto. And only Minato is the only one who sees it, okay? But as he as Minato is about to get a son, of course, the, um, the people that were helping Minato were attacked and knocked out by Obito, as we all know, the masked man. And from there, they have a unique exchange. Before Minato um, grabs Naruto, he sees a brief light echo around Naruto and the person that's being held or holding onto Naruto, unintentionally, of course. What goes down is, of course, Minato saves Naruto and disappears. But as Minato disappears and just narrowly avoids the bomb that was connected to Naruto, the same glow that was around Naruto instantly went around him, but Minato took no notice of it. Now, much like how he does in canon, Obito releases the Nine Tails from Kushina and allows the Nine Tails to go rampage through the village. Much like how Minato, he puts on his awesome as Hokage, bloody, uh, um, well, whatever the robe he has on, he teleports to his. Hokage face and there he does the coolest move ever where he teleports the Nine Tails um, or Biju Bomb away, you know? So all of that's all the same, even when Minato summons Gamabunta and lands his butt first round on Kuruma's head and teleports him away towards Kushina makes a barrier around them and what goes down from that moment. The story is the same until this very moment. So as Minato is is preparing the Reaper Death Seal and before then he summons Naruto. What goes down is Kushina was holding um, Naruto and she stated that something happened to Naruto when she was holding him. As Minato was doing the, the seals, he was still talking because he's the man, he can do he could do hand seals and focus and talk to his wife. He asks, what was it? Was it a light? And she goes, yes. She's never seen it before. But for some reason, Naruto's chakra really resembles mine. Minato t has no time to think about it. But when he, when he hears that Naruto's chakra is nearly as similar to her, hers, he goes, he goes quickly, what do you mean it's similar to yours? And she just explains, well, look at it, Minato. His chakra is as big as mine, if not a little bit bigger. Something strange about it. You can see that his chakra has a mixture of yours, mine, and something foreign. And Minato's like, what? And without even hesitating, Minato was going to summon the Reaper Death Seal to put the whole entire, well, split the Nine Tails up. But Kushina states, no, we won't split it up. Naruto's body it looks like it's strong enough to hold it. Me and you both together will force the Nine Tails into Naruto's body without you splitting yourself or killing yourself. Minato goes, we have no time and I don't have the chakra that needed to force the entire Nine Tails in. And Kushina goes, well, I, I will use the rest of my chakra then, even if I have to give my life, Minato. You have to survive long enough then. Minato goes, I'll do this for you. He stops doing the Reaper Death Seal. Instead, he helps Kushina with a, a proper binding or a perfect sealing jutsu. Besides the adamantine chains that are wrapping around um, Kuruma's body, what goes down is Kushina puts her hands down and a sealing formula appears underneath her body. What happens is Minato reinforces it, you know, putting the remaining parts of his chakra into it. And when he reinforces the seal, the seal appears under the Kuruma again. 
but what ends up going down is as the seal appears, Kuruma turns briefly into like a glowing chakra light, but he was um, strong enough to break out of Kushina's chain, and he was about to pierce like, Naruto like he does in canon, but the seal takes hold, and Minato was uh, was the one who stopped the Nine Tails from piercing or killing Naruto, you know, he, he stood in front of it, much like he does in canon, without Kushina's help, but as the Nine Tails claw pierces through his, his gut or abdomen, like in canon, well, it instantly goes down, as the nail goes right through, it pierces him, but then turns into chakra before it touches Naruto, and what goes down is that the chakra form of Kuruma disappears within Naruto's 8 tetragram seal, what goes down is Minato's gushing blood, eh? He's like breathing heavily, and Kushina looks, looks at him like, Minato! She rushes over to him, but she instantly falls down, collapsing of absolute chakra exhaustion. Now, Uzumaki are meant to apparently stay alive for 24 hours after the Jinchuriki is, or tail beast has been removed from their body, as everyone has been trying to tell me for years in my what ifs. But just because of Kushina in this what if has used nearly all her chakra, okay? What I mean, all her chakra. She used her chakra much like how Nagato, when he made us hear white, re reviving everyone in the, the past arc much similar kushina did the same in her hair started half her hair turned white much like shoto todoroki's half and half but anyway um enough with the my hero academia re reference as kushina does so minato collapses and touches his wife's face and tells him that we did the right thing he kisses his wife and tells him that he loves her and he will see her on the other side and as minato drifts away kushina can't help but cry and she cries and she cries and as the barrier fully comes down the third Hokage comes and because Kushina is super weak she can't barely sit up. The third Hokage grabs Naruto while he's still in a frantic state. As the third Hokage grabs him, Naruto's hand um, uh, like, like briefly touches his, his, makes contact with his hand and such Naruto glows again and so does the third Hokage. Kushina sees this and she's like and she sees instantly Naruto's chakra immediately change again and she's like he, he uh, Lord Third, and she's like, he's like, yes, Kushina, my son, something's different about him. It's a right you. And he goes, no, Minato sacrificed himself, and so did I. I have only moments. My son's name's Naruto Uzumaki. He has the four nine tails within himself. I believe he, something special is with him. That glow that was around you. Did you see it? And Kushina's eyes are coming, going in and out. And he's like, yes, I did, Kushina. I believe if you haven't noticed, he copied your chakra. And uh, it's a rare ability in the Uzumaki clan. <coughs> Kushina coughs out. And she's starting to lose life. And the third Akaga is like, Kushina. And he's like, what are you talking about? If I'm right, Naruto uh, just copied me, Minato's uh, abilities. Not our history, not our memories, just our abilities and our chakra and she coughs again and as she's starting to like lose consciousness he, she states that he also copied jewels and the mask man my son my son and she reaches her hand she goes i i love you and she instantly collapses as she collapses the third hokage is like what the what do you mean he copied he looks at him using his, his own senses, he sees it, he, he feels the massive chakra of the Nine Tails, he feels the massive chakra that is Kushina's chakra within Naruto, also Minato's chakra mixed in, a third person which he kind of is familiar but not at the same time, and his own. He's looking at Naruto and he has so much chakra it blows his mind, he's like, no way, he, he does, he really does, he grabs Naruto and, he, and instantly disappears. Now what goes down is the third Hokage ponders to himself, what, Kush what did Kushina mean? He could copy our chakra and our abilities, but not our history and memory? How is that even possible? When did the Uzumaki clan have a Genki Genkai besides those adamantine chains? What's going on? And I, I, like he's so confused, so confused about it. But what goes down is the village have, have their conversation and like in canon, Danzo pretty much stiffs the Uchiha and pushes him to the boundaries of the village. But what goes down is that this is when the third Hokage kind of changes his mind, and he he states to um, the um, the Kage, oh, well, the Kages, the um, the village elders and the village head of all clans, stating that Naruto will stay with him in the Saratobi um, household until we can discern what we can do with him. You know, Danzo instantly protests and tells him to check him in the orphanage. You know, but the third Hokage goes, no, no. Upon Kushina's dying wish is for Naruto to. to to not be um, like that to be for me to raise him and so I will take this opportunity and not only that because Minato is dead I will, I will happily stand forward as the third Hokage again. Danzo grits his teeth you know 
everyone agrees, even the daimyo agrees, um, or the, you know, the king of the land of fire, whatever his name is, the lord. And so what goes down is the third Okage is re well, re-announced as the third Okage again. And so what goes down is, as the third Okage watches Naruto for the first three to four years of his life, Naruto is a quiet kid, happy kid, content, however, very, very smart for his age. No matter what, Naruto picked up walking before he was one. He was able to speak properly, fluently, before he was two. Not only that, Naruto was able to grasp the concept of infusing chakra without even being told to do so at the age of four. Which shocks the third Okage, he's like, what the? He walked into the room one day and saw Naruto sitting on the roof, meditating. And the third Okage goes, oh, Naruto, what are you doing up there? Naruto smiles, I'm, I'm practicing my chakra control gramps. And he goes, hmm. Interesting. Who showed you that? No one. I just seen everyone else do so, like the Ombu that ran around and watched me. I see them sticking on trees and on buildings as if I can't see them. And the third Okage is shocked how a four-year-old kid can discern all the stuff and master how to use a, 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 a high-level a high level chakra control, much like um, walking on walls to standing upright, you know? As the third Okage looks at Naruto using his, his ninja sense, he can see that Naruto is amassing a lot of chakra. What blows his mind? It's like, um, when were you able to start molding chakra, Naruto? And Naruto goes, um, this morning. The third Okage's eyes open like, what? And he goes, yeah, it just, it just came to me. The third Okage immediately, instantly goes back to the office. He keeps it to himself, of course, and he starts to write down a, a, a training regimen. He comes home that night and tells Naruto, young, um, young Naruto, um, judging by how really proficient you are with chakra and how good you are, uh, I'm gonna put you through some tests, okay, to see where you stand. Naruto bows to the third Okage. What goes down is, for the next six months, the third Okage um, begins to probe Naruto, testing his abilities. What goes down is, despite everything, Naruto, um, the third Okage does all f all the five of the chakra natures right in front of Naruto, thinking that, um, can you do this? And Naruto does, he copies every single hand sign, every single thing the third Okage did, as if it was muscle memoried into his body. And he produced all the same exact jutsus as the third Hokage. The third Hokage is his mouth's wide open, he's just like stunned like oh, Kushina Kushina Minato, are you looking at this? Are you? Like the third Hokage is just shaking and he's in excited, like he has this excitement in his mind, you know? He had all the stuff he can teach this kid. But then it comes back to him. Naruto technically copied all of their abilities. Everything. And what he means by that is every ability. If that's the case, Naruto can use all five chakra natures, just like the third Okage, all of Kushina's abilities with her chakra and the adamantine chains, and then his eyes widen. Naruto can use that jutsu. The third Okage chucks the kunai to Naruto just to see what he can do, and he goes, I want you to practice that while I'm while I'm, at, um, I'm in the Hokage's office. Okay, Naruto? Asuma, um, your, um, your big bro Asuma will be here to come see you. Other than that, um, just... Don't burn the house down, okay? Naruto smiles at the third Okage, and Naruto runs off. The third Okage is just like dumbfounded. He sits in his office, like smoking his pipe, and he's like, um, 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 what do I do? He, like, he's got all this excitement in him, you know? Like, he just can't contain it, but at the same time, does he tell the village? Does he let Danzo know? No, like, but for some reason, he can't trust Danzo. It, just does, it doesn't come to his mind, you know? And what goes down is when the third Okage co comes home, he, he, he tries to look for Naruto, but Naruto's not home. What goes down is Naruto's actually in the forest, standing on a tree, walking around, jumping around, you no know, practicing, chucking his shuriken everywhere. Our sh our shuriken hit the, the, um, the kunai that um, the third Okage gave him. Naruto unintentionally put a mark on the said kunai. It just come to him as if it was a reflex. That mark was exactly like his dad's fine rising mark. Even though it was a normal kunai, it had the mark on it. And as Naruto threw it, he teleported it on instinct. And Naruto smiles. Whoa, that's incredible! Naruto keeps having vision upon not Minato himself, but the ability to use all the, the powers that come at his disposal, you know? And so Naruto, without even hesitating, he focuses on where the third Okage is using the Sentry Ninjutsu unintentionally, like okay? all this ability is coming to him unintentionally. He throws the, um, the, um, the kunai at, with all his, all his might, you know, putting chakra behind it, and as the kunai flies, Naruto waits, waits, and as it hits the ground, Naruto puts his hands together and he teleports immediately. He teleports to the kunai, right in front of an unsuspecting Kakashi Hataki. Kakashi's like, huh? Naruto's like, sorry. And he throws the kunai again, and the th um, Kakashi's like, uh, Naruto, how did boom? Naruto disappears again, and Kakashi's like, am I seeing right? He's rubbing his eyes like, Naruto just used to fly in Raijin? Wait a minute, wait a minute. He's Kakashi's thinking to himself, 
but he's barely five. What's going on? Kakashi rushes to the third Okage. Bear in mind, he's an on blue Black Ops member, okay? And when he gets to the third Okage's um, office, he's not there. And so he rushes to the third Okage's compound. And when he gets when he gets to the roof, Naruto appears on the ground using the flying Rajin to the kunai he threw. Naruto has no chakra exhaustion whatsoever by teleporting six times, you know? Nothing at all. Naruto smiles. I can't believe that works. You know, he's so happy. And what goes down is Naruto senses Kakashi. But unintentionally, he goes on the offensive and chucks three shuriken at Kakashi. And then he chucks the kunai between all three um, shuriken. Now, Kakashi is, is the bomb, okay? He's not going to be trumped by a little kid yet. But, um, what's it called? The three shuriken go into a wide range while Kakashi's like very obvious. But when the kunai bounces between all three of them, it directs all the shuriken towards Kakashi's position. And he's like, what the? He jumps out of the way just for Naruto to appear to in front of him with the kunai. Unintentionally behind him, much like how Minato does. Naruto stands on Kakashi's back and holds the kunai to his throat. And Kakashi's like, he just feels this, this sense of reminiscing, you know, remembering how Minato used to teach him how fast he was, how quick he was, how skilled he was. But Kakashi also realized that that shuriken ability that he used, that's not normal, you know? That's it kind of reminded him of an Uchiha. And when Kakashi turned around, Naruto's eye was a Sharingan, briefly. And Kakashi's like, what the? And as he goes to grab Naruto, Naruto um, instantly falls through Kakashi, and Naruto's like, what the? He's like, huh? Um, Kakashi's like, what's going on? What's happening with this kid? And Naruto re-teleports to the kunai and jumps away. And what goes down is a third Akage goes, what's this commotion? What? And looks up, oh, Kakashi Atake, what's going on? Naruto? And Naruto goes, hey, cramps, this guy over here was was peeping on me. And Kakashi's like, just stunned. He's like, oh, uh, Lord Third, me and you need to talk. Like, like now. And the third Akage says, feels this worry from Kakashi, you know? And so um, Naruto jumps down. Hey, Gramps, you know this guy? And he goes, oh, yes, this is this is Kakashi Hotake. Kakashi? And Kakashi jumps down. He's a black oops. Black oops. <laughs> so, but he's a black ops ombu member, okay? <laughs> and if you guys are going to roast me, please do. I like remembering the laughter. It's fun. I like remembering the stupid I do. It's funny as hell. But anyway, back to the story. Naruto um, is like, all right, then. He, um, he goes inside, and the third Okage can't help but notice that Naruto has a marking on the kunai that he gave him. And to the third Hokage surprise, he did exactly what he thought Naruto would do. And he realizes that the copy ability that Naruto have is extremely powerful. And not only that, it comes via reflex, as if it's natural to him. He goes, oh, Naruto, before you go. Naruto goes, yes, Gramps. He goes, so, what did you do with that kunai? Oh, Naruto goes, oh, I did this, I did this, Gramps. Chucks the kunai right past the third Hokage and teleports on the wall right behind him. And he chucks it again right past the third Hokage and re-teleports back to the same place. And the third Okage's mouth is wide open. He's like, do you know that's like an S-rank jutsu, like top of the top? Like, really, like Naruto? Like, like the third Okage's going into his mind. All the clockwork's going on, going on. He's so excited, he can't wait to teach his grandson everything. You know? Everything! He's so excited. Kakashi's just, like, baffled. And he goes, and he taps his grandson, he goes, good boy. Go on, go wash up. I think Asuma will be angry that you came home late. And Naruto's like, oh, alright, Gramps, runs away. And of course, he gets in trouble from his big bro, Asuma, you know? What goes down is Kakashi goes, Did I just see what I just saw? Naruto just used the flying Raijin? The third Okage goes, Ah, oh, yes, Kakashi, come into my office. So he goes to the third Okage's office and he explains everything. What Kushina, Kushina said on her deathbed, the glowing light that went around him when um, Naruto touched him, you know? And not only that, um, just the abilities that Naruto has, has, has shown. And as Kakashi's jaw just drops to the ground, like, What? What were you telling me Naruto could copy any jutsu? And then he realizes, but how did Naruto get a Sharingan? The third Okage turns around, what? And he goes, yeah, Naruto's right eye, it showed a gleam of a Sharingan. And then he fell right through my body as if he wasn't there. But he teleported back and that's when you interrupted. The third Okage's like, he's got, he can copy even dojutsus? And Kakashi's shocked, like, what, you knew about this? And he goes, yeah, um... I've been going over the scrolls for the past, the past five years since Kush or four years since Kushina told me that Naruto had this rare Uzumaki Genki Genkai, you know? And um, I only found brief descriptions. I even tra traveled to the... I remember when I disappeared for that, um, that good month or so, I went to the land of the uh, whirlpools and I found nothing. Nothing at all. No hints at Naruto's um, rare Uzumaki ability. And Kakashi's just baffled. And he goes, but... If, I, if you look at it very really carefully, it's, uh, there's no lie. Kushina wasn't lying. Naruto has 
a perfect copy ability. He can copy any ability that I've had, but I've, I've tried to get him to touch Asuma and everyone else to have abilities, but he hasn't glowed the same way as he did at birth. And Kakashi's looking at Naruto, but then Kakashi realizes something. When he touched Naruto, Naruto briefly glowed and so did he, before Naruto disappeared through him. And Kakashi goes, I see, so he copied all your abilities too, meaning, meaning he may have copied your Sharingan. But Kakashi goes, that makes no sense though, my Sharingan don't allow me to pass through things. And he goes, maybe a latent ability within your Sharingan, who knows? The third Okage is like biting his lip in excitement and Kakashi can feel that. And the third Okage goes, well Kakashi, I will continue your Ombu, um, Black Ops Ombu routes and you continue doing so, but at the same time I now have a new mission for you. And Kakashi goes, uh, yeah, uh, what's up, uh, or third? He's still looking at uh, the third Okage, shocked. I want you to help the train look after Naruto while I'm, while I'm away, okay? I don't want to leave Naruto out of my sight now. It proves everything. I can't let him fall into the wrong hands. Um, Kakashi understands every single word the third Hokage met and he goes, Right, I'll help you as best as I can. Not only that, I'll, I'll even divert Asuma also to do the same. And so what goes down is Naruto gets the best training imaginable, okay? He grows up the great, you know, the third Hokage teaches Naruto everything and Naruto picks up all the jutsus as if he's been doing it for decades. And what happens is, for instance, when the third Okage does that mud dragon jutsu, Naruto is easily able to mimic it perfectly and do the same thing. He's able to do, uh, what's it called, uh, all water natures, water dragon jutsu, you know. And Kakashi's just baffled. He's sitting back, you know, like looking. Even Asuma's like, what's going on? He's like, look at Naruto. When Asuma sees the gigantic water dragon and the mud dragon in front of him, he's like, uh, what's going on? How, how does he know how to do that? Oh, man. And the third Okage tells them to shush, and as they attack, their powers are exactly equal, the third Okage and Naruto's. And what goes down is, the third Okage didn't realize that the Naruto threw uh, multiple kunos around after the explosion. And what goes down is the third Okage um, used a wind style, and blew the, um, um, all the um, well, the resulting mist and, and um, dirt, or, 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 or dust in the air. And doing so, what goes down, Naruto disappears and jumps between all the kunai around. Freaking out the ho on the third Okage because it looks exactly how Minato did when he took out all of the, um, the hidden stones, thousand shinobi by himself in a blink of an eye. Much the same, Naruto moved so fast that it scared the Hokage that he actually fell back a little bit. And what goes down is Naruto stops right in front of him and the third Okage smiles. You're extremely talented, my, my Naruto, my boy. He rubs his head. I think it's time for you to learn your history and who you are, okay, and why and why, um, in a way, you have that mark on your stomach. And so it goes down as the third Okage takes Naruto in and tells him on his fifth birthday, I'm just gonna state because I'm just gonna, uh, I need to round it up, that um, Naruto is the son of the fourth Hokage, Minato no Mikaze, and one of the, uh, a unique person named Kushina Uzumaki. Okay, Naruto's like, oh, okay. And what goes down is the third Okage goes, um, your father and your mother sacrificed themselves to seal the nine tails within you. That seal on your stomach is the thing that locks him in place. And Naruto goes, oh, that's what it is. I was trying to figure it out. I thought I can unlock it, you know. And the third Okage goes, what? Yeah, Naruto shows his right arm. And there's a, there's an unlock key on his right arm. He says, how did you get that? Naruto goes, I don't know. I just thought about it. And I, I drew it down on the paper and boom, it appeared. And the third Okage's eyes is just wide open. This kid could draw down um, ceiling tags as well. What does he? What doesn't he know? The third Okage gets a huge grin and smiles. Naruto, one thing. Um, remember that. Um, um, remember the, the ability you used when you fell through Kakashi. And Naruto goes, um, I don't know. I have brief memories upon how I did it. And Naruto opens, he closes his eyes and opens it. But when he opens his eyes, he has two sets of Sharingan. And the third Okage is blown away because he goes, What? Didn't Kakashi said you only had one of them? But then, what goes down? He, he doesn't know why. Maybe it comes as a set. The third Okage touches Naruto, but his hand goes right through Naruto's body. He's like, what the? And then Naruto goes, oh, I see. So that's the ability. Well, that's that's it, uh, um, um, Lord Third. And what goes, what goes down is Naruto's eyes begin to change unintentionally. Both eyes turn into Mongekyo shutting gun. Now, why you, guys, why you think I'm telling you this? Why Naruto has his abilities? Because Naruto touched four people when he was born. And that being Obito Uchiha, the masked man, Minato Namikaze, the yellow flash of the hidden leaf, Kushina Uzumaki, the red hot habanero of the hidden leaf, and the third Okage, God of Shinobi. Which in turn gave Naruto a unique foothold over everyone, and then 
unintentionally Naruto copied Kakashi's ability in the heat of battle. And this is when the third Okage concludes everything, okay? He's like, I see. I really see. Like, it just blows his mind and goes, Naruto, you're going to be taking advanced courses from here. I'm going to be teaching you everything I know, okay? From all my jutsus to how to become a perfect shinobi, even the will of fire. Are you up for that? Naruto has a strong drive. He punches his chest. Yes! And the third Okage taps his head. Good boy. And so what goes down is... Naruto's a genius, a genius by all accounts, okay? I'm just going to say that really clearly. He has all his dad's abilities, you know? He may have not have his parents' memories of their life and what they can do. However, he has the muscle memory of using all the abilities in general that he touched, you know? And not only that, he is near the limitless chakra, thanks to the fact that he has the complete merge of chakra of his chakra, his mum's chakra, and I mean the full chakra merge, his dad's chakra, Obito's chakra, and Obito has been amped by um, Zetsu's, meaning amped by Hashirama cells, you know, and so Naruto will never go blind in his eyes, because that's how the Sharingan is with Obito, and the third, and the third Hokage's chakra, which is enormous, okay, huge, with Kakashi, so of course Naruto's chakra pathway is his own, Kushina's, Minato's, Obito's, the third Hokage's, um, Su um, um, Saratobi, and Kakashi's. And now the third Okage thinks about it, Naruto's going to know all of Kakashi's abilities. What makes him so excited to teach him. And so what goes down is Naruto, even, even though, you know, he wants to be friends with everyone, the third Okage makes Naruto's, well, makes him train hard every day, all the time, you know. But Naruto gets to have a life, you know. Um, what goes down is because Naruto is seen as the third Okage's grandchild, and Danzo never told no one that Naruto is the Ninetale Fox yet, what goes down is the villains don't hate Naruto, okay? Then said they look at Naruto as little Lord Naruto. Much like how uh, Konohamaru is treated. But Naruto goes, don't call me Lord. I'm just Naruto who's a maki. He runs around being happy. Jumping around like fast as hell. And everyone just can't believe that a, that a five-year-old kid can move that fast. Yeah, look, Naruto in canon was mega fast, you know? It was hard to be perceived as a kid. Now, picture the yellow flash is Naruto, you know? Just, just, just picture it. And so, Naruto, he's so fast that... When it came to um, anything he did, he learned everything and mastered it towards he. And he learned it the first go he got, he, he did. He did all the schoolwork too and blasted through it. And the third Okage just wanted to like promote Naruto, much like how they did with Itachi, you know, because he was so, he was something else, something better, something he'd never seen before. That's how, um, um, what's it called, Itachi was. But that's Naruto, okay? And so the third Okage, um, at the age of seven for Naruto, he, he still goes to the academy, but he passes everything. He passes everything as if he was a Jonin, okay? Everyone knows that, everyone sees that Sasuke tries to fight Naruto when they are kids, but he can't. He can't even touch Naruto. Naruto's way too fast, way too strong. Naruto's actually popular in school, and all the duties he learns is really quickly, you know? Now, he still has a passive copy ability, but much like how Super Copy um, Deku, same thing, like, um, how, he, how he has to make physical contact to gain the knowledge and the ability to use their... Their, well, in this case, their chakra abilities and their chakra, that's what Naruto does, okay? But he still passively copies everyone's abilities around him, and they still exist. However, Naruto doesn't know that yet, okay? And so, as Naruto is age 7, Sasuke bears a grudge against Naruto, because no matter how much they fought, no matter how much Sasuke trained, Naruto is better, you know? And so, one of their last fights before they get put into their Genin teams at around 8 years old, what goes down is, this is after the Uchiha massacre, of course, when um, Itachi kills them all. And Sasuke left alone. What goes down is uh, one of the last fights or the last days of them being um, kids. Sasuke demands to challenge Naruto full ball. He wants to see where he stands, and he tells Naruto, "You're not gonna, you're not gonna be on top at all, forever." Naruto goes, "Come on, Sasuke, I don't want to fight you. Honestly, like, why don't we just train together and get stronger together?" Sasuke goes, "Shut your mouth!" He just jumps back and moves the fire. He goes, "Get on guard, Naruto." He goes, Fire Star, Fireball Jutsu. When Naruto sees this, he goes, Okay, then, Water Style, Water Ball Jutsu. Boom! Shoots a massive Water Style that engulfs Sasuke to Fire Style and hits Sasuke with really hot water. And Sasuke jumps out of the way, but he still feels hot water on his body. He's like, Ah, ah, how did he? And Naruto instantly puts his hands together and he goes, Wood Style! And a Wood Style appears right around Sasuke, grabbing him and pulling him down. When, um, when, um, what's his name? Yam, uh, uh, Iruka Yamato. When Iruka sees this, he's like, How does Naruto know Wood Style? And Naruto unintentionally did Wood Style as in a defense mechanism. It just, it just came to him. Why is that? Because Obito, or the Masked Man, is able to use Wood Style, okay? Why is that? Because half his body is coated with Hashirama-san's Zetsus. So, in turn, it allows him to use Wood Style. 
but this was just a reflex. Naruto had never had practice with it, he just did it. And Sasuke got pulled to the ground. And Naruto goes, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know, boom, he releases and Sasuke is shocked, you know. Not only did Naruto's water style was bigger than his, but he also used a rare, um, rare, um, jutsu, you know, and that's wood style. And Sasuke stays away. Get away from me, you freak. He runs away and Naruto goes, but Sasuke, I, I didn't mean to. Iruka looks at Naruto and goes, Naruto, come with me. He takes Naruto to the third Okage in which Iruka explains everything that has gone down. The third Okage spits out his cup of tea and goes, what? You can use wood style? And Naruto goes, I just found it out now. And the third Okage is like so happy. He's like, oh my boy, I'm so proud of you. And so it goes out as Naruto proceeds to show the third Okage and he practices wood style. The third Okage summons Yamato in which Yamato is surprised that someone else besides himself can use wood style. And Naruto picks up all of Yamato's wood uh, style abilities really quickly, you know. But it takes some time to like, like he doesn't learn it inst instantly because he never copied Yamato's uh, ability like how he does when he makes physical contact. However, he's passively copying it, meaning he's able to pick up the ability much faster. Still takes some time though. But what goes down is the third Okage can't believe it, you know? Not only does he have, well, practically the first Okage right in front of him, Naruto. This kid's gonna surpass every single one of them by miles. And the third Okage's like, oh man, I've like hit the jackpot. I can like bloody relate. I, I could rest when this kid becomes Okage. No one's gonna mess with Konoha. It's gonna be a matter of time before Naruto defeats the Nine Tails and subdues him under his will. Like, the third Okage is going through his mind, and so he writes down a will for Naruto just in case when he dies, you know? Much like he will do, do with Konohamaru and Asuma. And what goes down is Naruto is just extremely talented, extremely. And over a period of time, he's still put into Team 7 with Kakashi and them. And why you say that is because, one, Naruto has the Sharingan for some apparent reason. Not only that, Naruto has all of Kakashi's abilities, which Kakashi will have to teach Naruto how to do so, but as Kakashi finds out, then Naruto only needs to see it once, and he can produce it right away. And three, the fact that Naruto knows that Kakashi was Minato's uh, um, student, Naruto wanted to be Kakashi's student. Much like how Minato was Jiraiya's student, and Jiraiya was a third Okage student, Naruto wanted to follow that um, ensemble. And, um, and so it goes down as um, ensemble of it between all of them, like he wanted to copy all of them um, how they were. And so the third Okage proved it and he told Kakashi that um, Naruto, Sasuke and unfortunately Sakura are going to be in Team 7. Uh, and I was just thinking, oh why Sakura? I know she sucks. I know. But I just have to, I just have to. I'm not going to do too much to change him to make him stronger, nor am I going to do with Sasuke, but uh, Sasuke's hatred is what's going to make him stronger, because Sasuke's hatred is on a whole new high when it comes to losing to Naruto, and Naruto's got a new special ability. Sasuke feels even more worthless, but anyway, what goes down is, as Kakashi has his team, Naruto doesn't pull the same prank what he does in canon. Instead, Naruto is sitting in class meditating, and meditating, like, Kakashi's like, Naruto? And he's like, oh, Kakashi, uh, nice to see you, and he goes, ah, oh, hmm. It's good that you three are here. Come meet me on the roof. So all three of them go on the roof and what goes down is he still asks the same question, what do you guys want to be when you get older? Sasuke wants to kill a certain someone and he wants to he wants to beat down Naruto so badly. Naruto gives him a cheeky smile. Sakura says she wants to be next to Sasuke, which annoys Naruto and he looks at him like, what's the point of being a ninja then if you just want to be next to Sasuke? She tries to slap Naruto but Naruto is just way too quick and catches her hand and he goes, you won't be doing that to me, throws her hand away. I would advise never doing that again because then you might find your own hand coming back at your own face. Sakura is shocked that Kakashi kind of smiles, you know, like, <laughs> kind of sounds like his mum right there. And he goes, what about you, Naruto Uzumaki? Naruto stands up. I know exactly what I'm going to be. I'm going to become the next Hokage, just like my father before me. And um, Sakura and Sasuke look at Naruto and Naruto goes, yeah, the fourth Hokage was my dad. Kakashi knew this was a secret, but Naruto don't care. You know, what well, he's going to be proud of who his dad is. Kakashi looks at Naruto and Naruto just gives him a cheeky smile and sits down and Sasuke goes, wait, wait a minute, you're lying, right? That's not true. Naruto can't be the son of the fourth Okage, can he? And Kakashi goes, unfortunately, yes, he is the son of the, um, the fourth Okage and I can vouch for this because the fourth Okage was my teacher. Sasuke's eyes widen, Naruto smiles and he goes, huh, can't hide nothing from this kid. And so what goes down is... Kakashi tells them uh, to meet them at the training grounds tomorrow, don't eat nothing, and when Naruto leaves, he disappears quickly, you know, because he left the kunai at home, he can just teleport anywhere where he leaves his marker, 
and so instantly teleports back to the third Okage's home. Well, his home actually. And there he meets up with Konohamaru and kicks up and kicks back with Asuma, you know, when he finishes his missions. One thing Naruto has not um, left or lost is the notion of of eating ramen. He loves ramen because that's what I love. I love eating ramen. I make my own ramen too. And if you guys want to know what's in my ramen, I'll take another photo and show you guys next time. And I'll, I'll specifically highlight what I use for my ramen. But anyway, what goes down is um, Naruto is... Well, he's happy, you know, he tells um, Asuma that um, he's in Team Kakashi or Team 7, which Asuma smiles and says, you know, Kakashi is uh, a unique um, unique um, journey. He can he knows a thousand jutsus. Naruto's eyes widen and the excitement is like, really? I can learn that too? And Asuma is not surprised whatsoever, okay? He was kind of filled in upon Naruto's abilities, but not fully to the max extent, uh, extent you know? Asuma pulls out um, a special chakra blades and he goes, here. He gives them to Naruto and he's like, what's this? Well, since you copied my chakra and my abilities, these things will help you with one star release, you know. And not only that, when you when you push out your pull, when you pull your chakra into these blades, they they can become stronger and sharper. Naruto smiles and grabs them, and chakra appears over them, much like as if he's been using these things all his life. Um, Asuma smiles and good on you, kid. And Naruto spins him around. He puts flying Raiji marks on these blades, much like how he does all on all his kunais and shuriken, so he can be quick whenever he goes everywhere and teleport fast between them. And so what goes down is as Naruto wakes up the next day, he meets up with um, Team 7 at the training fields where Kakashi comes. And Kakashi explains the bell test and everything, and Naruto understands it towards T. And what goes down is immediately as Kakashi says that let, let the battle commence, Naruto instantly pulls out three kunai on, on both his hands, pulls them out and throws them by Kakashi. So he actually throws six kunai, not three. And so what goes down is Kakashi um, jumps and dodges them, but when he looks up, he sees a kunai being deflected by a shuriken. Smacking down on him, Kakashi is, uh, is only able to turn and the shuriken cut his cloth, um, his cloth and what goes down, Naruto teleports uh, to the shuriken to cut him and, ca and catches onto it and kicks Kakashi down. Kakashi tries to jump but Naruto le um, releases the, sh um, the, shuri oh, the, the, the kunai I mean and as Kakashi goes to hit him, Naruto teleports to the ground and then teleports back to the kunai in the air and Naruto immediately kicks Kakashi down again, he weaves hand styles, well I'm, 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 hand, I'm on hand signs you know. He goes, water style, water ball jutsu, boom, shoots a massive water style at Kakashi. Kakashi shoots his jumps out of the way and rolls, and in doing so, what goes down is Sasuke runs out the forest. He begins to attack Kakashi with uh, um, Tai Jutsu, and Kakashi just taken off guard, like, wow, these kids are incredible. Sasuke manages to jump away and shoot a fire style fireball jutsu, and as he shoots the fireball out, Naruto jumps right by Sasuke, and he does this door to combine jutsu, Sasuke, and so he puts his hands together, again, one style, one bullet jutsu, boom. And so as Sasuke's fire style is creeping closer to Kakashi, Naruto's wind style catches up, merges with Sasuke's fire style, making a huge scorch style um, um, flaming ball. And as as about to hit Kakashi, Kakashi's weaving hand sign and makes an earth um, earth style mud ball jutsu. The scorch style combined fireball and uh, uh, completely obliterates it, and Kakashi disappears. And Sasuke goes, "Where did he go?" Naruto, Naruto goes, "I don't know." But wait, Naruto closes his eyes and he uses a sensory ninjutsu. He senses around sits around and goes, there! He opens his hand unintentionally and a mini Rasengan appears. Just unintentionally, Naruto doesn't even realize. And he smashes the ground with it, what causes it causes a mini earthquake and shockwave. Kakashi's able to jump out of the ground and flip away. He's breathing heavily because Naruto almost slammed the Rasengan straight on his head. Kakashi goes, you're incredible, kid. That's all I can say. Naruto appears behind Kakashi. Oh, I know. And Naruto disappears again and cuts Kakashi the two bells off and teleports by by Sasuke and holding the bells in hand. Sasuke's like, what the hell? How did you and Naruto go? It's just called, called being fast, Sasuke. Maybe if you maybe if you could use your Sharingan, you'll be able to see me more clearly. Sasuke is shocked and he kind of grits his teeth on, on Naruto's boldness and how quick he was. They can't believe it. And Kakashi goes, he just looks at Naruto and claps his hand. Nicely done, Naruto. Nicely done. However, as much as I'd say you and Sasuke have passed, but Sakura, however, she didn't. And Sakura comes out like um, snuggling and crying upset and she gets tied up to the pole. Her stomach's hungry and everything like that and she's looking at Sasuke and Sasuke is not caring. But Naruto can't help but feel sorry for Sakura and even though Kakashi said don't give her no food. If you do then you guys will go back. Naruto don't care and he realizes he deduces something. He's too talented for Kakashi to kick out anyway and, and not only that he's the third Okage's adopted grandson, the fourth Okage's son. It'd be pretty hard for Kakashi to deny him to be a ninja. And so Naruto gives um, gives food to Sakura and she's like, what are you doing Naruto, you got to get in trouble. And then I'll get in trouble then. I'm not going to let you sit here and starve and watch me eat. You, you, um, you're going to be in my team after, you're going to be one of my friends in our team. So it's going to be my job to help you out, right? 
Sakura um, tries to wipe her tears away and she thanks Naruto and Naruto begins to feed her. And this makes Sakura blush. Sasuke just looks at Naruto and Sakura and he's like, hmm, fine, you can eat some of mine too. This is when Sakura's whole world goes upside down, you know, her face turns red like a tomato. And what comes down is as she's eating, Kakashi goes, oh, so you didn't listen to what I said and, and in turn you fed um, Sakura some of the food, right? And Naruto goes, yes, of course we did. I'm not going to listen to a mundane type of thinking when it comes to the idea of of Sakura and the fact that she did um, she didn't do well in the test. We're kids after all. If you wanted us to actually know it, we sh you should have told us the parameters of the test, regardless of what you think is right or wrong. This is super unfair. Kakashi looks at Naruto and he's just like, wow, that's like a real grown up thing to say. Like, that took me off guard, kid. Um, anyway, Naruto, well, the test was more like to see what you guys can do under pressure. You and Sasuke are unique and pretty good, to be honest. No one has ever got the bells from me. And Naruto smiles and he apologizes because he, like, he, he was too too bra um, brazen and loud to Kakashi and trying to like, talk down to him. But Kakashi just waves his hand and pats Naruto's head. Don't worry, what you said was true. And I'm very proud of you guys. You three have passed. Sakura looks at um, Kakashi, both Sasuke and Naruto do as well. And Kakashi goes, regardless of it, you guys um, proved my test correct. You guys worked as a team. Yeah, Sakura didn't, um, what's it called, didn't do anything when it came to the physical aspect, but um, all in all, you guys still helped out and worked together as a team. It just means you, Sakura, you need to play catch up, that's all. Sakura's like, um, I'll do my best, Lord, uh, um, um, Kakashi Sensei, and he smiles. But it goes down as well, you guys are dismissed for today. Um, go get yourself some food and relax home, and from there, we'll see how things go. And what goes down is for the next two and a half months after that talk, Sasuke, Naruto, and Sakura begin to do um, reme rem remedial or, or, or mediocre type of training slash um, ranked missions, D, ranked missions, all that stuff. And it's Sasuke that gets fed up with doing D ranked missions and he, he explodes and asks Kakashi when are we going to do something more special, more better. The third Akage smiles and states to him, oh, well, that's the thing. And he calls in um, the bridge builder Tazuna, and from there the storyline goes relative, okay? He still berates the team, even looks down on Naruto, but Naruto doesn't care, doesn't care, doesn't phase him, okay? And so as Tazuna leaves, Naruto goes with them. And the, the, all of Team 7 with Kakashi disappear with Tazuna. Now as they're walking, Naruto doesn't realize something, but something manifests, manifests in his left eye. And he begins to squint, but as he squints, and his eye begins really getting really tight, he opens his eyes, and lo and behold, Naruto's left eye is, uh, is enveloped in a, in a, what's it called, in a Byakugan unintentionally and as Naruto's looking around kind of panicking, he focuses himself, he focuses center until he sees the two puddles and two guys and Chakra are uh, hiding in these puddles. Naruto, without ever hesitating, begins to weave, weave hand signs and he, uh, unintentionally goes, Lightning style, lightning surge jutsu, shoots the lightning style right in front of Kashi and, and Tazuna and they're like, what the? The lightning style hits the water and the two demon brothers fall out of the pond, you know, they're badly injured and just like, or their um, static electricity or lightning um, um, conducts electricity, so by any any form of chance. What goes down is Naruto takes him out, easy. Tarzan is like, how does this kid know lightning style? That's pretty advanced jutsu, I've never seen anyone his age able to use it. And Kakashi goes, Naruto is a rare case, he's a prodigy among prodigies, a genius. And he learns, learns jutsu on the fly, much like how I do. Tarzan I can't believe it, but he goes, no, Naruto is the real deal. And so what goes down is as they're walking through the forest, what goes down is Naruto sends something. He feels a shift in the air. And as as Mr. appears, Naruto looks up, he's like, what's going on? And then what happens? Naruto hears the sound behind him, and as that sound gets closer, it's almost about to hit them. It's the executioner blade. Unfortunately, unfortunately, what happens is Naruto catches it and completely shatters the blade entirely. And so what goes down is after Naruto catches Zabuza's blade, he slams it on the ground. The Zabuza tries to be cool and land on the blade, you know, and he was about to say to the, uh, Naruto, good job, kid, but Naruto immediately punches Zabuza in the gut, and this catches Zabuza off guard, he gets sent flying, Naruto throws kunai everywhere while the mist is up, Naruto moves hands, hands um, sign to goes, wind style, super breakthrough, Jutsu slams a uh, wind pound onto the ground, blasting all the mist away, and as Zabuza gets up, Naruto disappears and begins a uh, unique hand-to-hand -hand combat fight with Zabuza, which Kakashi is just baffled, he just can't believe, like, what? Naruto's able to keep up with the head of Missinja, like, nah, you're lying. You're lying. But no, right in front of Kakashi, Naruto proceeds to beat down. Beat down Zabuza. Every time Zabuza gets an opening, Naruto manages to cut him and slash him, chuck kunai's around him, uh, overlap him, until Zabuza's getting really over it. He puts up the ex executioner blade and is about to swing at Naruto. 
But now, because I can do that too, opens up his hand, slams a Rasengan, and plushes it through the, um, what's it called, Executioner Blade, breaking it in half. Then Naruto leans his right hand back and tells him, just give up now, and maybe I'll let you go, or maybe, uh, what's it called, oh, well, I won't let you go in Naruto States, but maybe, uh, what's it called, you could be useful. What goes down is unintentionally, no, it doesn't work. Uh, so Naruto jumps in and does a Rasengan, taking Zaibos out, don't kill him, but taking him out fully. And when Haku appears, Naruto immediately catches all the sin bones out of the air. Naruto's like, coward. You're a coward. Looks back at, at, at uh, what's it called? The Ombu standing in front of him. Kakashi states that he's a hit and missed Ombu and we don't want any in trouble. When Naruto walks forward. No, he's not. If you can't see it clearly, he's using a transformation jutsu. And this shocks Haku. Massively does. And as ha Haku could barely uh, like, uh, like um, register it, Naruto already appears behind him, you know? With a, with a Rasengan. Haku turns around, Naruto slams the Rasengan straight into his gut, sending him flying completely out of the area. And Kakashi goes, what would he do, Naruto? You attacked him. He, he was a journey from uh, um, the head of Miss Village, Naruto goes, and yet he, he only chose to attack now. I saw, him, I saw him before when we were fighting. He watched the whole thing. I even saw both of these two meet up and talk to each other. And Kakashi gets on guard. You know, so they're working together. Naruto goes, I believe so, yes. Zabuza tries to get up on Naruto, um, Naruto, I mean, Kakashi slams his foot into Zabuza's head, knocking him down. Um, um, what's it called? What ends up going down is, as they're watching, um, Haku is trying to get up and goes, um, Zabuza, Zen, boom, Naruto appears right in front of him. He's like, how are you, Naruto, going to put a mark on you when, when, um, when you got close to Naruto. Slams the Rasengan in Haku's chest and it almost kills him, slamming into the wall, knocking him out. And, and what happens is Tazan is shocked, you know? The mist still covers certain area, but Naruto does wind style. Uh, well, breakthrough Jutsu blow, blows a massive wind style, completely opening the entire area for um, everyone to see. And they proceed to head to um, Tarzana's base. Bear in mind, Kakashi did not need to use his Sharon Guard, he didn't need to use anything whatsoever. And so, by the time they get to um, well, Tarzana's place, is when Naruto meets the young boy. After that, uh, after the brief introduction, Kakashi begins training Sasuke and Sakura. He looks at Naruto and, t and hands Naruto a scroll and says, The third Okage told me to give you this, okay? You're way too advanced for me, Naruto. But just note that when it comes to certain jutsus, I'll push you, I'll, I'll, I'll push you through more, okay? Naruto agrees with the third um, with Kakashi. Sasuke is just baffled, like, why is Naruto so good? Even Sakura is the same. And what happens is Kakashi just chucks it up to, oh, because Naruto grew up with the third Okage, so Naruto didn't really get the, uh, um, to rest like all of you. The third Okage drilled in all the abilities that Naruto had. And Sasuke just grits his teeth how jealousy he feels with Naruto. And every time he looks at him, his Sharon Grand briefly activates. And, but with Naruto, he, um, with Sasuke and Sakura beginning to do their tree climbing test, Naruto disappears to a little bit of a secluded area. He opens the um, scroll that he has given to him and it's wood style abilities, you know. All the way ranging up to wood, and, uh, wood dragon and, and wood golem jutsus. Naruto's like, whoa, okay. And he, he proceeds to practice. Now, despite him having the ability to do wood style, um, Naruto still will have to, like, put years and years of the training, you know. He's able to make a small wooden dragon, but it slowly but surely comes to him. Naruto proceeds to watch this, and as he watches it, he starts to see, um, looks carefully at it, and, and he realizes, in the wood style itself, there's nature energy, but he doesn't know that it's nature energy yet. He hasn't put two and two together yet, okay? But what goes down is Naruto masters this, not only that, in the scroll, the third Okage states that Naruto has to leave the Sharingan activated all day when he's training. So Naruto activates his Sharingan, and begins to train with it. Bear in mind, Naruto, both Naruto's Sharingan are three Tomo Sharingan, and when he activates the Mongekyo Sharingan, which the third Ikage also states, tonight he wants Naruto to briefly go in and out between the two. He wants Naruto to push himself to the absolute max, okay? Non-stop. He wants Naruto to be the best that he can be, and he also gave Naruto what's it called, the Multi-Shadow Clone Jutsu Scroll. And what's a Naruto, that's a brand new scroll the third Ikage drew, drew for him, so Naruto can also do that and it'll amplify his training. And so and such, within the next couple of weeks of them being there while the bridge is being built and Naruto them, uh, training and protecting them, Naruto is going through all the jutsus that he sees, you know. Naruto gets really quick and really far, far to the point. One time, Naruto accidentally summons Gamabunta. Gamabunta looks right at Naruto, Oi, shrimp, who are you? Naruto goes, Oh, I, I, I apologize. I just did the um, I just did the summoning jutsu and I accidentally summoned you here. Sorry about that. And, and, and what happens is, Gamabuta's like, no simple kid can summon me. He looks right at Naruto and he just sees the similarities between Naruto and Minato. Naruto jumps down off Gamabuta and he bows his head, I, I'm so sorry, I'll send you back to wherever you come from. He goes, oi, wait, 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 what's your name? Before you send me back. And he goes, oh, uh, I'm Naruto Uzumaki, the son of Minato Namikaze and Kushina Uzumaki. 
and Gamabunta goes, Oh, you're Minato's son. Oh, nice to see that. I'm I'm Gamabunta, or you can call me Chief Toad. And you summoned me. You summoned me. Looking at Naruto, yeah, I, I, again, I'm, I apologize for that. Oh, not to worry, kid. Not to worry at all. He smiles at Naruto. And he goes, so you have animal contract here? And Naruto goes, what's that? And he, he Gamabunta smiles, and he summons it himself. And he tells Naruto, he writes Naruto's hand, I'm um, writing down on his blood on the scroll and Naruto puts his hand on it and he goes, I am officially your summon Naruto. Your parents will be very proud of you, especially your dad. He looks at Naruto, hmm, I wonder if Jiraiya will like this kid. And he goes, well anyway kid, um, could, um, could you please release the summoning jutsu? And Naruto's like, yeah, sorry about that and nice to meet you, um, Chief Toad Gamma Winter. And he goes, just call me Chief Toad kid. Naruto's like, alright, release. He releases Gamma Bunta and teleports him back to uh, Mount Miyaboku. And Naruto proceeds to um, do more and more. And as he does another summoning Jutsu, he does the same same thing. But he, he thinks about the third Okage, you know? And what he told him to do when he comes to summoning. And unintentionally, he summons Enma. Enma standing in front of him. He goes, hey kid, how did you summon me here? And Naruto goes, um, well you see, Gramps told me to practice on my summoning Jutsu. Um, I've accidentally summoned, um... Gamma Bunta and, and King Enma is like, what? You summoned Gamma Bunta? And he goes, yeah, yeah, um, I, I made a pact with him and all, but I I summoned you too, I guess, and he smiles. I see. So you, you can summon me as well. Well, then, since you signed another contract with him, I can be your secondary contract. How about that? And Naruto goes, he's so excited. Like, really? What can you do? And um, what goes down is um, King Enma turns into the adamantine stuff. And Naruto's like, no way! I have Gramps' staff? And he goes, yes, but at this present time, I'm still his summon, but I can be, I can do a contract for you. And he Naruto um, also writes a contract down, puts his hand down, and, and Enma goes, well, until next time, young man. And Naruto releases it, Enma disappears. But what goes down is Enma um, reverse summons himself to the third Okage unintentionally. And the third Okage goes, Enma, what are you doing here? And he goes, your boy, Naruto, he summoned me. I made a contract with him. The third Okage smiles, um, like t taking a deep puff of his um, pipe, and he goes, he did, did he? He's up to that part of the scroll. He's progressing really quickly. <laughs> Enma states, well, I'll, I'll be his summoning until, um, I'll, I'll stay, remain your summoning until he needs me more. Okay, and the third Okage goes, oh, not at all. I'm still able to retiring anyway. And Enma smiles and goes, you got a fine kid there. And he thinks, thank you. And Enma disappears, and the third Okage looks up, Kushina. Minato, do you hear that? You have a fine son. He smiles. And what goes down is Danzo was standing outside and he heard everything. But he didn't proceed. But what goes down is back with Naruto them after the training, you know, Naruto he doesn't uh, he doesn't see Haku or anything of them all at all. Because Naruto um practically took out Zabuza and Haku, like in a blink of an eye, like really, really quickly, um Yeah, like honestly uh, um there was none of the interaction. But at the same time, Naruto and Sasuke and them stood um, after Naruto does all his training. Of course, they go to train together. But Sasuke is just extremely jealous. Unintentionally, though, Naruto didn't realize that he had the Sharingan activated, but Sasuke didn't see it. Kakashi saw it and he gave Naruto the gave Naruto the nod to deactivate it. Naruto deactivates the Sharingan, so Sasuke didn't know. Even though he wants Sasuke to know, the third Okage states that it could have been bad for Sasuke development if someone else outside the village had the Sharingan or outside uh, outside his clan. But well, Naruto goes, that's kind of unfair. It's not my fault I copied it. Like, like, not my fear. Naruto has a fair idea now that he actually can copy abilities, okay? He realized that when he accidentally used partial expansion juice and punched the wall, hole through the, uh, his wall when he was a kid. And what goes down is Naruto goes, oh, I have Choji's ability too? And so what goes down is, when it comes to finishing off the bridge, and they open the bridge, this is when Tazuna's gang come through. The whole gang, Kashi was standing there, Tazuna's like, Get the hell off the bridge, this is not for you. And Gato goes, oh, is that really? You hear that, boys? Um, yeah, we, yeah what's it called? Well, what we're going to do is we go kill them and we'll destroy the bridge. Or we'll put a tax upon it, like, you know, trying to claim it. Kakashi stands up. Naruto unintentionally couldn't help himself. And he throws his kuna right past Kakashi. And Kakashi goes, Naruto. And Naruto begins to weave hand signs really quickly. And what goes down is Naruto goes, Shuriken, Shadokou, and Jutsu. And the, sh and the shuriken, the, the kunai that fights past Naruto, instantly turns into 20, then 30, then 50 um, kunai, and they fire past all these guys, deflect it, you know, and dodge it. Unfortunately for them, that's what Naruto wanted. Naruto leaned back, he pulls, um, what happens is he pulls out another kunai, and Naruto activates a Sharingan. When he activates a Sharingan, Sasuke sees this, and Naruto disappears. Boom! He speed blitzes through all of them, so fast that Kakashi was shocked. 
Sakura was shocked and Sasuke is like, he's got the damn Sharingan. How does Naruto have the Sharingan? He's not an Uchiha. And then as Sasuke's anger boils over, his Sharingan finally fully activates. And he's so mad, he rushes over Rain. But while goes down, Naruto disappears. And he reappears right in front of Sasuke. And he, and he stops and Sasuke instantly grabs Naruto. Naruto, how do you got the Sharingan? Naruto pushes Sasuke away. And Sasuke goes um, to grab Naruto again, but Naruto just walks right through him. And he goes, hey, we got no time for this, Sasuke. And everyone is shocked. Except for Kakashi, he's seen Naruto do this ability to walk through things. Gato is freaking out because this kid just took down all these men, all his men in a yellow flash or an orange flash. And his eyes just widen. He's in absolute fear, like, uh, uh, please, I mean, you know how I'm. Naruto goes, didn't you just tell, didn't you just say you wanted to kill, um, um, one of your men to kill? Ah, oh, because someone with overwhelming power stopped you right now. Naruto teleports behind him, puts the kunai to, um, the back of Gato's head. I should kill you right now on the spot. What do you think? And Kakashi appears right by Naruto. And he goes, this is enough, Naruto. You've won. Naruto puts the kunai down and bows to Kakashi. He deactivates his shining gun and disappears back by Sakura and them. Naruto spinning the blade and Gato is just freaking out, eh? Kakashi goes, looks down at him. You were almost killed by a kid. How humiliating do you think you feel? Look at your men. They're all down. Naruto wiped them all out. That would have been you. Gato's like, please, I I I'll do anything. Kakashi goes, no. No, you won't. Naruto, Kakashi activates lightning chakra on his hand. And Gato's like, please, don't. I don't want to. Boom, stabs a lightning blade right through Gato's chest and pulls it out. And what happens is Kakashi down um, walks back. Gato surprised the entire village of South people that saw it. They were surprised that Naruto single-handedly took out everyone and Kakashi finished off the, um, the main boss. Well, goes down as Tazana thanks them. They will thank um, Naruto and Kakashi, you know, and Sa Naruto looks at Sasuke. Oh, Sasuke, your Sharingan's activated. Incredible. But when Sasuke was looking at Naruto, he's just, he's just stunned. He's like, I didn't even, I didn't even see you move. And you see my Sharingan's activated. Sasuke shocked there, his hands trembling. No, you can't be this more powerful than me, can you? And Naruto's like, Sasuke, are you right? And Kakashi just taps Naruto. He's seen your Sharingan, Naruto. And Naruto's like, oh, I'm sorry, Sensei. And Sasuke goes, wait, what, you knew about this? And Kakashi lifts up his eye, lifts up his eye patch and shows Sasuke his Sharingan. And it goes, Naruto copied my, uh, Naruto has the same Sharingan as I do. And Sasuke is shocked, but you two are not Uchiha! And uh, Kakashi goes, well, unfortunately for you, you don't have clearance to know much about Naruto and, and why he has the Shining Gun, but I can tell you why I have mine. My best friend Obito sacrificed himself to save me. I lost an eye when I saved him, and so by him giving me his eye, he made me bear his will. And Sasuke is shocked, and so I took the Shining Gun and planted it, and as you see for now, I carry his will until the day I die. Me and Naruto have similar sharing guns, but his one's more evolved, actually far more powerful than mine. And Sasuke's the shock day, and he just can't get over his anger, and Kakashi goes, Now's not the time for you to be angry, Sasuke. Now is the time for us to return to Konoha. If you've got any questions, you can ask me, ask me on the way. Or ask Naruto, whatever. And so as they're walking back, Sakura just asks Naruto, Naruto, what kind of jutsu can you do? And Kakashi goes, too many for him to explain. Okay, just too many. And why put this in Sasuke, this makes it very clear. He goes, how much chakra do you have? And Naruto just stops and looks at Sasuke and he goes, I don't know. I've never been tired before using Jutsu. In fact, I just get, keep getting stronger and bigger, bigger chakra pool. And Sasuke's like, what? And he goes, yeah. Despite, um, um, besides me having the nine tails within me, my chakra is massive. Dare I say, it almost rivals the full nine tails within me. And Kakashi agrees, you know. He goes, you got powerful chakra like your mother and your father. And Naruto uh, um, puts his head down, and, and what happens is Kakashi smiles. Well, we better head back to the village. A long, grueling walk back to the village. And Naruto goes, well, we don't need a walk, you know. I could, t I could simply teleport us there. I put a mark on the, um, the Great Naruto Bridge. And Naruto smiles, the Great Naruto Bridge. But anyway, I put a, I put a flying rising mark on the bridge. So if we want to, we can teleport back there anytime we want. And I can teleport us back to the village. And Kakashi looks at Naruto with his eyes wide. His eye wide, and he goes, really? You ready, Naruto? And Naruto goes, yeah. And Kakashi smiles, why am I not surprised? He goes, alright, Sakura, Sasuke, put your hand on Naruto's shoulder. They're like, what? And he goes, hurry up. And Kakashi puts his hand on Naruto's shoulder, feeling some form of nostalgia, you know, because Minato, Minato. And so what happens is they teleport. Naruto instantly uses the flying Raijin and teleports in front of the village. And that's when the gate guards see them, like, what the? And they're like, uh, Kakashi? And then Kakashi's like, yo, Team 7's back. 
And so they get back, they're like, oh, we weren't scheduled to have you back for a while. They're just shocked at what just happened. And Kakashi goes, Every, oh, you guys will be debriefed later. And they go, oh, all right. And what goes down is they go to the um, back to the third Okage, and the third Okage has the biggest grin on his face. He goes, oh, you guys are back early. Let me guess, Naruto teleported you guys back here? And Kakashi goes, uh-huh, yep, yep. And he goes, so how was your mission? Kakashi proceeds to explain, oh, so um, your prodigy kid here, uh, Naruto took down two uh, uh, middle-class um, tunings and then they decided to take down uh, two high-level jonings um, That being Zabuza of the Hidden Mist and uh, another character that um, Well, he was a Black Ops Ombu member that tried to kill Zabuza like yeah um, Tensions were high, but still Naruto took them both out and to top it all off Naruto defeated the Ga um, Gato's gang in the blink of an eye and the bridge was named after him and the third Okage is smiling, ah, oh, I see, I see, so he's that talented. And he, Kakashi gives like a most stupidest face, he's that talented. Are you stupid? He is talented, he is what the personification of talent is. And he goes, <laughs> he smiles. So uh, while you're here, I think Naruto should be promoted to a tuning. He shouldn't be, he shouldn't enter the tuning exams, it's just too unfair. And the third Okage goes, well, the world's unfair, Kakashi. And he goes, yeah, but Naruto is just too much. He's way too much. And he goes, huh, all right, if he is your recommendation, then I will agree to this. However, I still want Naruto to participate in the tuning exam, but I will grant him this. His, his educational scores are off the roof, his jutsu scores are off the roots, root, roots, roof, his taijutsu scores are off the root, roof, and his um, his genjutsu uh, um, abilities, um, skills are um, off the, um, well, mega high, okay, I'm, I keep confusing myself. And Kakashi goes, yeah, I agree to all of that. Naruto could easily beat me in, in a fight. No doubt. No doubt. And the third Okage goes, I hate to admit it, he can beat me in a fight too. Little brat. And Kakashi smiles. Minato and Kushina will be proud of him, right? And he goes, yeah. Your sensei and, and, and Kushina would be would, would be happy and would be um, really um, proud of Naruto. All right, I'll promote Naruto to, uh, to the tuning. Um, I'll announce it tomorrow. But at the same time, Naruto will still go to, um, will still go to the tuning exams to observe and to get some other experience, you know. And Kakashi understands. He thanks the third Okage, and the third Okage smiles. Good on you, my kid. Good on you, my boy. <coughs> Sorry. And so Naruto and them um, get the tuning exam papers, but Kakashi goes, Naruto, um, technically you don't need to proceed with the tuning exams. Thanks to my recommendation, even the third Okage's um, own advice, he's promoted you to a tuning right away. Sakura looks at him like, what? Even Sasuke goes like, what? And Kakashi goes, let me be very clear to you two. Naruto, if not, is low level, high level, Jonin level. Intelligent wise and Jutsu wise. Skill ab 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 above his peers. Even better than your brother Sasuke Itachi when he was younger. Sasuke looks at um, Kakashi with disdain. And he goes, it's probably because he has the Uchiha Sharingan, the cheat. Sasuke walks away and Kakashi goes, regardless of that, Naruto will be promoted as tuning tomorrow, and you will still participate, but in a medium fashion, okay? You're still part of Team 7. Naruto goes, uh, okay, sure, Kakashi Sensei. And so they proceed to do the tuning exams. Now, they go through the first test, breeze through it like it's nothing, you know? Naruto is not even affected by the Genjutsu. And then when Rock Lee comes to challenge Sasuke, that fight incident still goes the same. And so what goes down is when Rock Lee is about to do the uh, Leaf Hurricane, or the uh, um, well, the uh, primary Lotus Naruto um, teleported in front of um, Rock Lee and kicked him, grabbed Sasuke and dropped him to the ground, teleported back, and Rock Lee's like, ugh, that, hit was, that kick was heavy. Naruto put Sasuke down, and Guy was going to interfere, but now he wanted to see this. He wanted to see the prodigy known as Naruto. He wanted to see if Rock Lee had any way of beating Naruto. Rock, Lee, Rock Lee's like, he goes, how do you interfere? Naruto goes, you won. I don't know why you continued. You should have just stopped. Sasuke was at your mercy. Sasuke goes, get the hell off me, Naruto. I, I had him. Naruto goes, don't lie to yourself. You didn't realize that your Sharingan didn't copy any of his jutsu because he's only using physical attacks. Sasuke looks at Naruto. Ah, oh, yeah, I know all about the Sharingan. I learned it all my life. Bear in mind, I was able to activate the Sharingan at age five. Sasuke's eyes widen massively. He's like, what? And Naruto goes, I'm sorry that it makes you feel even, even smaller, Sasuke, but just let me handle it. Naruto looks forward. Since you're so good at fighting with Taijutsu, and since your master is not stopping this fight, I believe he wants, to, wants us to proceed with a battle between each other. So I'm willing to fight with you, pure Taijutsu alone, if you don't mind. Rock Lee smiles, alright then. 
and he notices what well, Sensei Naruto puts his finger back and points out Guy on top of the bleachers. And Rocky is like, Guy Sensei, I. And Rocky, um, Guy gives him a thumbs up and goes, I heard everything. Do your best. And Rocky is like, Yes, Sensei. He stands up, and they 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 look at each other, and then a massive flash, both of them body flick to each other and proceed to fight. Now, Rockley's fighting style is unorthodox to the point where Naruto had to adapt quickly, but thanks to his copy ability, he, do, he doesn't even, he doesn't, not, well, sorry, he not only um, copies jutsus, but he also copies movements much more quicker, much more better, as if it becomes muscle memory really quick. And he adapts to um, Rockley's fighting style quickly, quicker, quicker, to the point where he's able to dodge every one of Rockley's attacks, much like how Guy does. And as Guy sees this, he's like, this kid's incredible. No, he's beyond a genius. He's talented. Like, like extremely. Like he, his jaw, um, my guy's draws like hit the ground, like and what happens is Rockley's like trying to push himself and he steps back and he opens the first gate just to keep up with Naruto. Naruto sees this unintentionally, he sees this action, and Naruto proceeds to do the same. Because Naruto made contact with Rockley, he kind of copied some of Rockley's abilities and potential unintentionally. In doing so, Naruto does the same thing in his mind. He, he just closes his mind and he, he says it to himself: first gate open. And as the first gate opens, Rockley disappears, so does Naruto again. The fight gets much more faster, much more harder. Lee's trying all he can, doing the Leaf Hurricane, dynamic entry, all that stuff. But nothing, Naruto's just too quick for him. Naruto's countering with the same attack, same speed, you know? And Rockley tries it, but Naruto immediately appears behind him and kicks him in the, in the back. He appears in front of him and hits him in the gut. And jumps behind him and trips him in the back of the neck, knocking Rockley out. And Rockley drops to the ground. Naruto deactivates the eight gates, and he's like, whoa, that was different. I've never known to use my muscles at 100% efficiency. And Naruto smiles. I wonder if I should keep that active with my Sharingan. I wonder how beneficial that would be to me. Naruto proceeds to walk out to Rockley and picks him up. That was a good fight. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're really talented. He pulls Rockley up and Rockley's like, Am I? And he goes, Yeah, you're incredible. You beat Sasuke and he has a dojutsu. He's from the infamous Uchiha family. And you beat Sasuke. Rockley's like, Thank you. Thank you so much. And Naruto goes, Not to mention it. So your name is Rockley, yeah? And he goes, yeah, my name is Naruto Uzumaki. I hope me and you can become really good friends and train together. And Rockley's like, he goes, right. Thank you, Naruto Uzumaki. I'll do my best. Naruto goes, cool. I wouldn't have it any other way. He smiles, they both fist pump with each other, and Niji saw this. And he's like, he just used Rockley's ability. How did he do that? I must press Guy Sensei for that. Guy saw that. He saw it, and he saw everything about it. He saw Naruto open the first gate. He saw Naruto copy all Rockley's moves and surpass him immediately. And Guy's like, this kid, he's something else. He really is. And he, he needs to get some answers. <clears throat> and so after the first part of the tuning exams, this is where they come to the Forest of Death. Now Sasuke's really annoyed with Naruto. He looks at Naruto and like, this bastard just, this, this, why? Why? In his mind. But he just can't get over it. Naruto's happy he's been, he's been in the Forest of Death. He feels like this is a disadvantage for everyone because Naruto can use his abilities to send through the trees. Thanks to what? His nature can his, his connection to nature and wood style. And so what goes down is Naruto is standing there and unintentionally Orochimaru touches Naruto's um, touches Naruto. And bear in mind Naruto doesn't need to run to go to the toilet this time. Instead, when um, Orochimaru touches Naruto, Naruto glows a brief colour and so does Orochimaru. Orochimaru steps away and goes, What was that? Naruto goes, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Naruto realizes, what the I can do that? Huh. And Orochimaru just looks at Naruto and he sees Naruto's chakra slightly change. He's like, he kind of grits his teeth because it kind of resembles his chakra. He jumps away. Orochimaru fully jumps away. Onko sees this, but she doesn't. She just no, doesn't keep a blind eye to it. But she keeps it very aware. The Naruto just what happened to Naruto? And so Ose tells them to proceed into the forest. Team Seven disappear immediately. Naruto jumps into the forest, and when he gets to a certain point, he uses a reverse summoning, a reverse flying Raijin Jutsu, and summons Sakura and Sasuke to his position. This, art, um, this throws him off guard, but at the same time, they're like, How do we? Damn it, Naruto, you should let me know when you're gonna do that. And Naruto says, Sorry, but I had no time. You guys were too slow. And I wanted to get to a certain position where we can have the advantage, don't you think? The faster we get this over and done with, the faster we can, faster we can progress through the tuning exams. Don't you want to become a tuning Sasuke? And become stronger? Sasuke tells Naruto, I'm not gonna use you to get, um, help me to do it. I can do it myself with my own power. Naruto slaps Sasuke's hand away. When are you gonna learn? It's not all about you, Sasuke. It's about all of us as a team. That was the first test Kakashi says they put us through. So Naruto proceeds to grab Sasuke and lift him up. And he goes, When are you gonna get over yourself? Yeah, your clan's dead. Your clan was killed. So what? Naruto throws Sasuke down to the ground. My parents sacrificed themselves to, to seal the nine tails within me. So you're not the only one that lost something. Do you understand? 
Now get up and stop having your little whiny tail to me and make me feel sorry for you. If you want respect, you want you want to become better, then grow up here. And Sakura looks at Naruto and is shocked as Sasuke gets up, his eyes turn into Shanga and Naruto does the same. Why well, you want to fight Sasuke? And Sasuke is shocked there because Naruto showing guys right there. He's like, "Fine, what do we, what are we gonna do then?" Naruto goes, "Good. Now that we're on board together, finally, we shall work together as a team, back to back. Okay? I'll use my sensory and jutsu and my ability to perceive some way, and we'll try to grab as much scrolls as we can. Okay?" Sasuke goes, "Fine." And then he grits his teeth. Damn, damn it! And so it goes down as they proceed through the forest. They take out teams after team. You know, Sasuke still saves Karin from the bear. And Naruto then run through, but it's Naruto that saves Hinata, you know, from the Sound Ninja really quickly. Naruto's right here, he's quick as hell. And this this reinforces Hinata's love for Naruto, and Naruto smiles and disappears entirely again. And when he gets back to his team, they're talking and smiling. Naruto like, and he, he senses something weird. He gets up, and what happens? A gigantic snake just rushes towards Naruto. Without even hesitating, Naruto instantly goes, he goes, Partial Expansion Jutsu! Does a massive fist and punches the giant snake, punching it away. And Sakura's like, Naruto, how did you? Naruto instantly um, decreases his arm. He does he does a jutsu and does uh, a shadow paralysis and grabs the snake and holocks it in place. Naruto does a shadow clone with one hand. The shadow clone rushes at it, jumps up, and does a massive Rasengan and slams into the snake's face, completely killing it entirely. In doing so, Orochimaru is clapping his hands. Impressive. Very impressive. Now I see what you have. That was interesting. And if you guys can hear some background noise, I apologize. Honestly, it annoys me, but I can't do nothing about it. And so what goes down is, as Sasuke and them are watching, Orochimaru is like, so you can copy abilities. Hmm, that's a very rare ability, I must say. Maybe it's because of your Uzumaki. Is that right, Naruto Uzumaki? And Naruto sees that. Who are you? And he goes, oh, I'm just a, I'm just a concerned person. Look, I'm wanting to understand, and I want to take your body. Boom, Orochimaru rushes at Naruto. Without him hesitating, Naruto pulls out two kunais, and he chucks one on the ground behind him and chucks one right past Orochimaru's face. Orochimaru was able to dodge it like, like it was moving um, super slow, but Naruto appears behind him, catches it, and kicks Orochimaru on the side of the head, sending him flying. Uh, Orochimaru recovers, jumps away, but Naruto as Orochimaru recovers, the kunai is right in front of him. Naruto chucked the kunai already out of his direction. Orochimaru tried to smack it away, but Naruto appeared again with a partially expansion due to arm, or partially big expanded arm, and kicks uh, so he punches um, Orochimaru right in, in the face, sending him flying up the tree. Naruto instantly jump, um, instantly teleports um, behind Orochimaru. And why do I say that? Because after he punched him, he tagged him. And as Naruto does so, he stabs his, um, the knife right through Orochimaru's back, the kunai. And Naruto teleports to the kunai back on the ground, slamming Orochimaru on the ground. Naruto holds his hand up, holding the Rasengan. And he goes, who the hell are you? And Naruto goes, and don't try to lie to me. And if you try to do anything, I'll slam this Rasengan, killing you. Orochimaru like... <laughs> You're pretty good, Brad. I'll give you that. He and he's good. Uh, and, and begins to flex and then so uses this um key pressure, or key pressure, his chakra and his um killing intent to try to push Naruto away and get some distance. But Naruto is standing there with no fear whatsoever. But what goes down as the Rochimaru turns back and Naruto goes, There's other ways for me to get information from me. He closes the shot and the um Rasengan off and activates the Sharing Gun. Orochimaru's eyes widen and Naruto places him under such a powerful Genjutsu and when I mean powerful, the same Genjutsu that Obito put the Nine Tails in bear in mind what? Naruto has Obito's potential and Obito's Sharingan has been upgraded to their max, okay? Thanks to, to what? The Hashirama cells. In doing so, he, he, he peers into Orochimaru's mind he finds out and Naruto immediately digs the, the, the kunai deeper on his back and Orochimaru grits in pain blood starts to splatter into his mouth, out of his mouth and he rushes out of his mouth, you know? And he, as a snake, and Naruto pulls it out, and he goes, I was wondering when you're going to do that. And Orochimaru's like, how did you do that? How? How do you have the Sharingan? Naruto goes, well, as you just said, maybe I have a rare Uzumaki Genki Genkai. Maybe I can copy abilities. You knew that from the start, so why are you second guessing yourself, Orochimaru? Orochimaru's like, he's like, damn, damn you! And so he tries to attack with lots of snakes, but Naruto instantly starts to weave hand signs. And he puts his hands together, he goes, Firestyle, Majestic Destroyer Flame Jutsu! Boom! Does the, his most powerful Firestyle that the third Okage knows. And in, in doing so, it engulfs all Orochimaru's snakes. But what happens is, everyone that can see the Firestyle, they can feel it. And as Orochimaru gets away, he manages to disappear and all entirely, okay? He manages to disappear. 
um, what goes down in, in, in Naruto's wake. Sasuke just can't believe it. Like, Naruto just took down a legendary Sane pretty much by himself. Sasuke grits his teeth, but then he realizes Naruto is definitely special. Like, how the hell do I compete with that? Like, how do I? Naruto slaps Sasuke in the head. Get over yourself. We need to hurry up. And, we need to hurry up and move now. They may attack us again. And sure enough, the Cell Ninjas attack. And what goes down is Sasuke grits his teeth and he's pissed off. And he goes, he goes, lead this to me, Naruto. Sasuke runs down. He proceeds to beat them all down. A, we're using his own pure talent. He's not injured. But when the Cell Ninja tries to absorb Naruto, um, Sasuke's ch um, chakra, Naruto appears and slams his foot in the back of his head. Knocking him onto the ground. And Sasuke goes, damn it, Naruto, I had it. And he goes, yeah, sure you did. I was some drain your chakra. Now is not the time to waste. We need to hurry up and move. Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura disappear entirely. And they get to the, um, well, the Tower of Death, you know. And they, they, they're the first team there. Quickly followed by um, Garo's team. When Naruto and Garo make eye contact, they look at each other. And what happens is Naruto feels a certain something similar about Garo, like how he does. Even the Tail Beast within Naruto feels it. And Naruto can see that Gara looks like he's in pain of some kind. And what goes down is Naruto walks over to him and goes, I'm Naruto Uzumaki, who are you? Gara immediately slaps Naruto's hand away, but he didn't realize that Naruto made contact with Gara. In doing so, Naruto unintentionally copied Gara's abilities. Now, now you may be wondering, oh, Naruto can copy certain people's abilities. Yes, Naruto can. He's already got Sasuke's chakra abilities, you know, already Sakura's, Sakura's all that. He's already got the abilities that comes natural. People that he, but when he unintentionally makes physical contact with people that he doesn't have, like for instance, Gara has magnet release, you know, meaning Naruto copies that ability, which in turn will allow him what control sand, yes. And so what goes down is after Naruto does this, he's like, hmm, interesting. So I can copy their powers like just like that, just like how I did the Orochimaru. So it is like the third Hokage said. I never realized that, but I can control it at will now. Hmm. I wonder if I should copy everyone's powers to the max. I, I guess. I must give it a go one of these days. And so what goes down is they all proceed to the, the final part to the tuning exams. And unfortunately, Naruto still fights Kiba. And yeah, Kiba gets curb stomped by Naruto massively. Naruto just appears and punches Kiba in the gut. And he just looks at um, Akamaru with the Genjutsu and puts him to sleep. The Proctor instantly states, Naruto is a Maki wins. Sasuke seeing this, he grits his teeth eh, and the anger boils over over him to the point where his actual Sharingan go from one Tomo Sharingan to both of them being two. And so what happens when Naruto fight, when Sasuke fights the Sound Ninja, he obliterates him and breaks his arm and all that stuff, you know. Because uh, Sasuke is not weakened and he not, has the curse mark on him. What goes down is Sakura still equals tie with Ino. Yay. And what goes down is the, the fight with Hinata is relevant, re is relevant to canon and the, the Jonin teacher still stopped him. And it's only up until the point when Naruto's like, oh, this is all boring, you know. He, he likes watching it, but at the same time, this sucks. Until he sees um, Rock Lee and Gaara's fight. This is what blows Naruto's mind. When he sees Rock Lee go, go beyond the first gate, second gate, third gate, fourth gate, he realizes he can do all of those stuff too. Naruto walks over to Mike guy and goes, Hey, um, Bushy Brow Sensei, what's that, what's that jutsu he's doing? Oh, the eight gate formation. The inner eight, the inner eight gate formation is what everyone can use. Even you used it before when you fought him before, right? Naruto goes, oh yeah, I did. And he goes, well, young man, since you can use that, that's the, uh, that's, that's, well, where Rock Lee is now is the pinnacle of that, but he worked really hard to get there. And, and what happens is Naruto wanted to test something out, so he touched my guy. And touching my guy, my guy glowed a um, 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 little bit, and so did Naruto, and Kakashi sees this. And Kakashi realized Naruto just copied all of my guy's abilities. And he opened his eyes. Naruto just copied all of Guy's abilities. He looks around. Holy! Oh my gosh! That means Naruto can use all the inner gates. And Naruto smiles. Well, that was understanding. He goes, "What did you do, young man?" And Naruto goes, "Oh, sorry about that. My um, my I accidentally uh, moved. I pulled my chakra over. Sorry about that." Naruto looks away and he smiles. Cool. So I copy. I can fully copy the ability. Naruto thinks to himself, "Is this cheating? Is it? Am I really cheating?" Kuruma goes. In a sense, yes you are, Naruto. Naruto goes, huh? And he closes his eyes, enters into his mindscape. I wonder when I'll be seeing you, um, Nine Tails? And he goes, huh. And Naruto walks over and he goes, stay back. Do not come close to my cage. You will they repugnant shutting gun. Naruto goes, oh, you mean this? He activates shutting gun and the Nine Tails has absolute fear going through his mind. Naruto goes, oh, sorry about that. I didn't know you were actually scared of it. Naruto deactivates shutting gun, you know? And he proceeds to like, I'm sorry about that, by the way. So... Um, I'm guessing you're my tailed beast. He goes, you do not own me! Naruto goes, well, well, calm down, I know. Don't worry, I, I, I kind of feel the same as you. 
I was forced into the position, so you should kind of give that leeway. I didn't. If you've seen things since I've grown up, you should understand them, right? Kuruma just looks down, and Naruto goes, hmm. So, what am I doing here? Why did you make contact with me in the first place? I just wanted to let you know that, yeah, in a sense, you are kind of cheating, but at the same time, it's part of your power. <sighs> Damn you, Kushina. Damn you, Minato. Naruto goes, why the hell are you cursing my parents? Naruto gets really aggro, the Sharing Ground activates. He goes, I don't care who you are, I don't care if you were forced to this. Yeah, they did what was best for the village, but don't you dare talk down about my parents. The Night House makes eye contact with Naruto, and his fear just goes through Kuruma's eye, mind, you know, and he, he, Kuruma just like, whatever. He sits down and goes to sleep, but Naruto can see that the Nine Tails is absolutely afraid. Naruto's eyes traumatize him in so much ways. So it goes down and Naruto leaves his mindscape. And he walks over and Rock Lee and Gaara's fights is, is, well, ended, you know, with Gaara breaking Rock Lee's legs and Mike Guy stepping in. Naruto feels this type of um, um, hurt for Rock Lee and why Guy stepped in in the first place. What goes down is Gaara's like, he's, he's he once in and, and, and tired. And what goes down is Rock Lee gets sent to hospital, much like he does in canon. And Sasuke is angry and jealous of Naruto. Angry and jealous. And what goes down is Sasuke is still um, found by the Sound 4. Or much or more to um, the story more from Danzo. Danzo stands by Sasuke and asks him, "Do you want power, kid? Do you want to become stronger?" Sasuke turns around, "Who's that?" And he goes, "I can help you with that, but you have to be ready one of these days. A group of people will come and help you take you away. You'll receive power and the ability to um, to become strong. Do you want that?" Sasuke grits his teeth, goes, "He will." He goes, "Definitely." And he goes, "Good. Then wait for my call." Their voice disappears as Sasuke just sits there in his room quietly. And so it goes down, a month comes by, a month goes by, you know, for the tuning exams. What ends up going down is Jiraiya comes and into town, or into the village, and this is when Naruto and Jiraiya make their interactions. Jiraiya goes, ah, you Naruto Uzumaki, I see. And Naruto goes, another legendary Sani? Jiraiya? And he goes, another? You've met another one? And Naruto goes, damn, I forgot to tell the third old man. Yeah, I met Orochimaru. Jiraiya said, what? He runs over, how did you meet Orochimaru? And Naruto goes, he invaded the village in the tuning exams in the beginning. I felt, um, I think I'm going to be in trouble from Gramps. And he goes, what do you mean Gramps? Oh, the third Okage, the old man, yeah, um, I didn't tell him about Orochimaru, yeah, my bad. And Jiraiya's like, what the hell? And he goes, but anyway, uh, nice to meet you Naruto. And Naruto smiles, he shakes Jiraiya's hand, and in doing so, he copies all of Jiraiya's abilities. Jiraiya's like, what was that? And Naruto goes, oh, sorry, that's just, um, Sorry, it's just a reflex. My body just pushes out chakra too much. And Jiraiya's like, This kid, what did he just do? Is this what the third Okage said? Whenever he copies the abilities, they glow? That's what he just did. He just copied all my abilities. Jiraiya goes, Jiraiya goes to Naruto and calmly, and a more serious note, You just copied my abilities, didn't you, Naruto? Naruto's eyes widen. He goes, Shh, I understand. The third Okage tells me everything, of course. I'm, I'm a student. Your father was my student, and I'm taking here your godfather. Naruto's eyes widen. What? I've got other family? And he, Jiraiya goes, you could call me that. And Naruto hugs Jiraiya and he goes, <laughs> Okay kid, okay kid. So, what are you doing for the tuning exams? Um, the month um, gap. And Naruto goes, well, I would like to train. And you know, but Ibisu Sensei can't do enough for me. And um, the old man is busy, you know, being happy and sitting in the Hokage's office. And Jiraiya goes, that sounds about right. Well, do you want to become my people? And Naruto's eyes widen. Yes, please. And Jiraiya goes, well, it's kind of pointless, you know, my duties, but at the same time, I can help teach you them. How to how to activate all of them and run through the, all the powers. But you have to show me all yours, okay? And Naruto goes, agreed. And Jiraiya goes, do you know anything about the summoning jutsu? And Naruto smiles, yeah, I do. He bites his finger, and he starts to weave hand signs, and he goes, summoning jutsu! And he summons Gamma Bunso, and he's like, huh? Where am I? Oh, Naruto, what's up? And Naruto goes, oh, sorry. Sorry, Gamma Bunta, um, I didn't mean to summon you um, um, and shock you. Um, Jiraiya wanted to know if I can do the summoning jutsu, so I just showed him. He's like, what? Jiraiya boy? You made him summon me? No, 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 Gamma Bunta, I didn't. This kid can summon you? And he goes, yeah. And so it goes down. After Naruto finishes this, Jiraiya goes, oh, well, the next month of training is going to be easy. And so as Naruto breezes through the month of training, what happens is he appears in the stadium. As Naruto appears in the stadium, he takes a deep look, he takes a deep breath and looks around and he tries to recognize all the chakra, you know? He wants to make sure that everyone's safe. Now, within that month, Naruto told the third Okage that he fought against Orochimaru and he shows that he copied all Orochimaru's abilities. 
And the third Akake smiles, you know, he's like, one, he punches Naruto straight in the head, tells him, idiot, should have told me in the first place. But two, at the same time, Naruto has all of Uchimaru's abilities now. Maybe this will work in an advantage, and he thinks about it. If Naruto has copied Jirai's abilities and Orochimaru's, that means he can copy Tsunade's, and the third Akage thinks about this, hmm, I'm gonna send her an invite, I know the best way is to get her to come here. But as this goes down, Naruto um, remembers the third, what the third Akage stated, and he told Naruto to do your best in the tuning exams, right, and if you pass, and if you pass exactly how I believe, then I won't even hesitate to even slowly but surely promote you to a joining soon. Naruto looks at, um, um, what's it called, the third Akage, really? And he goes, yes, of course. Remember, your ability allows you to copy any jutsu, and as you told me, you never run out of chakra. You never tire, you just keep going, right? And Naruto goes, yeah. And he goes, do you use the Nine Tails chakra? He goes, no, I don't. In fact, if I wanted to, the Nine Tails said he'd be willing to give me the chakra, but I told him I don't need it. And what goes down is, the, um, the third Akage smiles, I see, I see, hmm. Well, then um, I'm proud of you, young man, and next time, if something big like this happens, let me know so I can prepare for this, because that wasn't a coincidental me meet. Naruto goes, no, it wasn't. I don't believe, I don't think so anyway. I think his target was Sasuke. And he goes, I see. He kind of had a fair idea about my copy ability too. Um, what's it called? Lord Dude. And he goes, that would make sense, because he was always obsessed with knowledge. And so what goes down is, back to Naruto after his flashback, he's sitting there waiting. And after he gawks at everyone, he looks at the third Akage and gives him a big cheesy smile. What's the third Akage? He looks at him and gives him a nod. What goes down is, Orochimaru is really smart and he's hiding his chakra entirely, using ceiling tags within his, uh, in the cloth of the fourth Kaze Kage to make sure he's completely hidden, even from Naruto. And then what goes down is, Neji comes into, this, um, into the arena, you know, and looks at Naruto. And tells Naruto about destiny and how he's destined to win. Naruto goes, Destiny? Destiny is not real. What happens is you take Destiny by your own hand and you decide, you write your own story. Do you understand? And I don't believe, and he looks at Neji and Neji goes, what the hell are you talking about? What do you know? You're, you're nothing. You have no you have no village, you have no clan. The third Okage, um, what's it called, may be your grandfather, but I don't think you relate to him really. And Naruto goes, who cares? I don't care. He's still my gramps. And so what? My dad was the fourth Okage of when I talk about um, inheriting stuff and Destiny. My mum was Uzum, um, Kushina Uzumaki, the last Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails. You want to talk about Destiny? Naruto pulls his t-shirt up and shows, I am the Nine Tails Jinchuriki of Konoha, and I'm also the fourth Hokage's son. So you're going to talk about Destiny, then I should have a great one, right? Neji's eyes widen, and Naruto goes, stop talking crap, and let's get, let's get into this. And Naruto goes, just know, after I beat you down, and after I prove it and stand over you, Neji, I'm not only going to change you, but I'm going to change the whole Hyuga themselves, okay? Your backwards thinking is irritating, really irritating. Neji goes, is that right? They come at me, Naruto! He instantly gets into position and activates the um, Byakugan. Naruto goes, the Byakugan, huh? Oh, you're going to use Daijutsu against me. All right, then I'll do the same. Naruto activates the, um, the Sharingan. Everyone's like, what? Naruto got the Sharingan and Sasuke grits his teeth? Because no one's explaining to Sasuke why Naruto has the Sharingan. Naruto just has it and goes, you want me to fight? Then come at me. Boom! Naruto appears. And they proceed to battle and Neji tries all his, all his, all he can and Naruto is ducking and dodging all his attacks. Naruto catches Neji's hand, Neji is able to push it away, but Naruto already copied all of Neji's abilities and his, his chakra, you know. And as Neji begins to fight, Naruto just kept, proceeds to stop moving backwards and he deactivates the Sharingan and he begins to fight Neji, getting faster and faster to the point where Naruto catches Neji's hand and kicks him in the gut. And he's like, ugh! He rushes at Naruto trying to do the 64 palm, but Naruto instantly goes in the 8 tetragram seal, or 8 tetragram seal, the um, the 8 trigram stance, and Neji instantly in reaction does the same, and they both proceed to fight each other, and as they begin to rotate, the th uh, um, what happens is the Hugo leader, um, he uh, Hiyashi, uh, or Hizashi, Hiyashi, um, um, Hiyashi, no, no. so I'm confused because he Hizashi and Hiyashi are, are mixing up from My Hero Academia and Naruto, so I'm just going to say the, the leader of the Hugo, um, Hinata's dead, he's watching this, how does Naruto know how to do the gentle fist, or the Hugo stand up, and Naruto proceeds to fight Neji, Neji's getting frustrated, he's like, he's like, one palm, one palm, two blah, 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 all the way to 30, um, um, 32 palms, and he, as he goes to 64, Naruto beats him to it, and Naruto proceeds to do the 64 palms, taking Neji off guard, and getting faster and faster, after Naruto does the 64 palms, he immediately begins to spin, and does a right, full rotation, and throws Neji off, and all the Hugo stand up, and even um, and Hiyashi's like, he can use that too? Everyone's shocked. And as Naruto blows Neji away, Naruto instantly appears and starts to do the whole count at the end. One, two, all the way to 64 palms, locking all Neji's um, chakra points. 
And Naruto proceeds to spin around, kicking Niji right in the head, sends him flying. And as Naruto stands over and, and proceeds to bar This is where we're going to leave this one off, guys. I hope you guys like this. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to see a part two to this one off, guys, 500 likes, guys, 500 likes. Okay, and I'll bring out part two right away. Okay, guys, and not only that, tomorrow I'm gonna bring I'm gonna be bringing out what if Goku had Broly's potential tomorrow, and possibly if I have enough time tomorrow, also I might try to get out what if Naruto merged with Kuruma as well. So I hope you guys all understand my schedule, and I hope you guys reach the 500 like goal because I really like this what if, and it was gonna lead to bigger and brighter things. And what I mean by that, the one above all, Naruto. Okay, so yeah. So without further ado, guys, this is Dr. Kahu saying peace.